we have spent over three decades inventing the technology that powers modern AI. That's NVIDIA's Senior Vice President of Telecom, Ronnie Vashista, delivering his opening statement before the House Energy and Commerce Committee today. The Silicon Valley executive works for NVIDIA, the trillion-dollar leader in AI chips. His testimony centered around the need to upgrade the telecom network for the AI revolution. Future networks will additionally support an entirely new kind of traffic, not just voice, video, and data, but AI traffic, the control and connectivity autonomous vehicles, smart glasses, robotics, and many more applications that we have yet to think of. Autonomous vehicles, smart glasses, and robots are just a few of the technologies NVIDIA is developing at its company, and making sure mobile carriers gear up for 6G will be key to making these technologies operate efficiently. Congressman Keene started his line of questioning by asking the NVIDIA executive about standards. Firstly, as we start to look at the definition of the 6G standards, which has already started to happen, uh, we, America needs to have a very strong voice in the 6G standards, both corporately as well as from the NTIA. And I think that's starting to happen, but we need to really d double down on that to make sure that as we define those standards, those standards are defined in a way that is meaningful to our advancement as well as a, a, an AI RAN, as we call it, mm -hmm. which is the infusion of AI and the radio access network. These standards will be critical in making sure the artificial intelligence apps of tomorrow can be used. One such application is weather predictions. So AI has the capability, and we're starting to develop some of that capability even more at NVIDIA, to actually um, have some level of prediction of weather outcomes as well. So the first stage is obviously when you start to enable predictions to happen and be able to um, re proactively react and make decisions uh, based upon those weather predictions and likely outcomes. A lot of work is happening with uh, NVIDIA around that about with something that we call the Earth 2 model, and we're working with researchers around the world to make that happen. As the hearing wrapped up, Congressman Lata asked the NVIDIA exec the consequences if the U.S. doesn't win the 6G race. Yeah, so I think it's an imperative, but let me ask, answer the question that you're, you've stated. The, the challenge um, with this, the challenge and benefit, the pro and con of the uh, convergence of AI and 6G standards is that there's really only one other country that's thinking about this, and that is China. Keep up to date on all the latest Congress news right here, and don't forget to like and subscribe.